is that my 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 Pittsburgh Steeler alum, my locker mate, my WVU alum, almost heaven. I'm talking to yeah. to coach. Is this Coach <laughs> Terrence Gar? I, I just want to make sure. Is, uh, uh, is that the guy that I'm I'm talking to right now? Uh, uh, I'll tell it, the people, it, is, it, is this is this Coach? So so, ladies and gentlemen, let me update you guys in the chat. I know y'all say, "Hey man, we talked to TG numerous times." What do you mean, Coach? Well, yeah. TG has been a little busy lately. He has taken yeah. on a job with Florida Memorial University, which I am going to have to talk to you about. I have a bone to pick with you. But okay. he is he's coaching down at Florida Memorial University, man. So shout out to you yes, for that, sir. man. Heck, I saw you change the Twitter profile and everything. Now he, he, the profile. he, he got, he got you know, coach, coach Terrence wow. Garvin in it. Now he's official. He's official official now, man. But but you, you, you know my grievance is this. Before we go any further, bro, Bobby Rome... That's your head coach, man. Bobby, Do you know from, coach Rome? He's from you know the coach crib, Rome. bro. Listen, funny story. I started getting recruited because of Bobby Rome. It was his, I want to say his senior year, my sophomore year. We're playing him, and I have, like, no type of buzz going on. I go out. He's the all-world recruit. All the Coscots are there. I sacked him five times in this game at a baseball field called Harbor Park. My mom calls the news station. Next thing I know, I'm starting to get recruitment letters out the wazoo, all because of that game right there. So for no. me, I'm a huge Bobby Rome guy. Absolutely. Okay. So when I saw that as I was researched, I'm like, yo, shout out to Bobby. That's the crib crib right there. So salute you for that, though, man. You are from Shark City. Let's go, Sound man. That's that's baby. Park Place in the house, man. You know what it is, man. Come shark on, baby. City. Come on, you man. Hey, Thirty Sixth Street. Hey, Thirty Sixth Street. He know what it is. Let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're the seven, five. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> man. But but shoot, bro. How, how's the coaching going? First off, before we get into the Steelers stuff, the coaching going well for you? Yeah. The coaching's going good, man. Okay. Hot the three, seam off two. You know? Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. You know, Let's I'm trying get to teach it. these boys football. You know what I mean? I, I. Inside and outside. I'm you trying you, to teach them you showing them to steal away. Is the standard the standard down there? Or, the standard or, 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 is the only the standard. Okay. That's, okay. That's the move. Okay. That's life, though. Okay. You know, I, just, just check it. Just check it. <laughs> but here we are, man. Two preseason games in with okay. these Steelers. Let's talk about it. You know. It, it, and obviously the hot topic has been quarterback play. You okay. know, is that the hot topic? I though? mean, it's it's one of them. Yeah. You know, the other hot, the okay. other hot topic okay. is is your okay. former stunt, your your former stumping grounds. You know that, but but yeah, the first know, hot topic, because we gonna though. chop that up. We gonna definitely chop that up. But we gotta talk this quarterback play, man. What's been your you know your feeling about these this quarterback competition? These three dudes, Mitch, uh, Kenny, and obviously Mason, man, over these first preseason games, man. Yeah, I think we're starting to see a move a little bit in terms of. What we thought we were going to see, mm. you know, Mason going to the three and uh, Mitch being the one. Mm. But, um, I mean, honestly, I haven't been surprised. I haven't been, I don't want to say overexcited. It's been about what I thought it was going to be. I thought Mitch has been looking good. I think he shows mobility. Mm. You know what I mean? I thought that's what they went and bought him for. Um, you know, the young boy, Kenny, I thought he came in here and played good, which I expected, which everybody should expect. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's got the whole... The state, the you know, everybody's behind. <laughs> I'm about to say the country. The whole East Coast on his side right now, man. Everybody's, everybody's supporting my man Kitty. He's a movement. <laughs> One thing I will say, don't 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 never let the I don't want to say the press clip is just don't we just gotta let it develop. You know mm. what I mean? Like we can't never get too 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 excited over the preseason because it's a lot of moving parts in yeah. the preseason. You know what I mean? We're not game planning, we're not doing different things like that. We're just mm. going out here running our basic cover two, cover three. So um, I think he's doing what he's supposed to do. I will say that. I think he's been playing really well. But I still think Mitch is the guy to start this thing off, you know. And I'm I still I'm still on the same move. I think he'll hand the baton off around that bye week. Okay. And we'll see we'll see Kenny come take over. Knowing but, Tomlin, do you think the quarterback competition is actually still open heading into this third preseason game? Or do you think that's just him talking i don't think it ever was a competition i think it was one of them things mitch is our guy and let's get kenny ready to go in there when it's time for him to go in there mm. but i think he's gonna keep it interesting he's not gonna let any he's not just gonna give his card away 
he's not going to say this is our starter, this is what we're doing. But, I mean, you honestly, not to say that, you can see that around the league. Like, a lot of coaches are kind of keeping things. Yeah, you unless know, it's like a too. clear definitive thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've seen Carolina just went ahead and made their decision. I've seen Seattle. They're still talking about we don't know. You know, so. <laughs> is your you boy going to pull it off? <laughs> is your boy Gino going to pull it off or no, nah, man? <laughs> well, that, that's, that's Gino. That's seven. They, they, they starting to hand out sevens out there. Did you hear right? what he just called? Did you say that's seven? Uh, come on. That's seven. Hey, hey, bro, you got to chill. You got to chill, bro. You got to stop this. Oh, I can't say it like You got to stop that. Heck no, bro. I, can't say it like I was like, who's seven? What? <laughs> <laughs> that's seven. Oh, my God. <laughs> only one seven right here. Yeah, it's only one yeah, seven. Uh, uh, it's, it's one seven, okay? It's, it's one seven. All right. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's yeah. But so you threw us off right there, man. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's but no, um, I think you know going to run away with that one. <laughs> And, uh, run away. I think you'll, you'll see Mitch run away with this one Ooh. until it's time for until the boos are too loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now we talked about that a little bit. Like, has the timeline, in your opinion, been pushed up? Because last time we talked, were you saying more midseason Kenny yeah. coming in? Do you think now with how he performed in the preseason, that timeline could be moved up to September? Yeah, I think you'll see it midseason. I don't think you'll see it till midseason. I mean, but, that's when but TG, they was booing Mason before he came on the field. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just because it wasn't Kenny. And then Kenny got a standing ovation. A standing it ovation. Did. I've it did. Bro, I've never seen that for a preseason game. I'm not going in the fourth quarter. I've never seen that, bro. <laughs> I've never, was, I've never seen a standing ovation for him coming in the game in the second half, nor the end of the first preseason game. I've never seen that type of energy, man. That's all I'm saying. I think it it that looked was different. To be expected though, you would agree. But I, it's expected. But you know how it is. It's kind of like you expect AB to go off, but it's different when you actually in the stadium and witnessing it. Nah, come on, think, bro. It was, it was special. It think, looked special think, out there. No, you're just in <laughs> denial. I, we knew that was coming. You know what I mean? We knew that was coming. It was no way. Bro, I don't think you realize the impact, though. I, we thought he was going to get support. That looked different out there, I had there, bro. some questions, though, too. That looked a little different he, out there, Even man. in, like, Western bro. Pennsylvania, the Pittsburgh area, there's a lot of Penn State people or, like, West yeah. Virginia people around here. So, like, I, I mean, I mean bro, it, honest, they, people really came out, though. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to make excuses. <laughs> we knew he was going to get – no, this is what – this is a dream scenario. <laughs> James <laughs> Conner didn't even get that type uh, of reception, bro. James Conner played running back. This is a quarterback. James Conner was the cancer survivor, the eerie kid. Boy, everybody loved James Conner. I get it. We he did was the James all Connor. bro. He didn't get a standing ovation like how my man Kenny Pickett did, bro. But he played running back. Pickett's been throwing touchdowns in that same stadium for years. <laughs> he was. That's what the. This was the plan. This was the plan. This was part of the draft experience. This is why it had to happen. It couldn't have been nobody else. Okay. Just because of the how okay. serious the severity of this. Okay. This is, okay. This is the first quarterback from Pitt that we've seen. Like they messed up the last one. They so said since Marino. Like, since Marino. Oh, this, this, yeah. <laughs> this is deeper than it looks. This ain't this ain't about picky. This is hey, about yo. It's principle, you know. <laughs> he said, you "We got it. We we we, we fixing this say. from fifty years ago, man. We 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 yeah, got it. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> He's this right. Is damn, you know, <laughs> He's right. They want to call him. Oh my gosh, yo, this is Come crazy. On, they can't mess this up. So so, regardless though, is there a, is there a scenario where we don't see Kenny at all this season? Not at all. So he's gonna, there, regardless of how well Mitch plays, it's gonna happen at some point. You feel? Mitch can't play that well. Okay. It's impossible for him to play as well as he can possibly play to keep him off. It's too okay. it's too much pressure. Anytime he throw in, that first third and eight that he throw in complete, the boos are going to ring. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> he, he's going to be hyper criticized. Like, it, he could get hit. Eight. If he gets hit, it's why'd you hold on to the ball that long? If why Kenny gets hit, so and if it was Kenny, they're going to be saying, Kenny, you got to be better with that protection, bro. Why would you this scheme that sucks. up like that? Oh, Absolutely. You, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're, right. Me? you're definitely right. I've seen them already getting on that O-line. Like, and the O-line played, they didn't play great. But the first year, they didn't play. They played the same all game. They played yeah. bad all game. This is it true. It only became a part of time that that O-line was terrible. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> they played the same amount of bad all game. 
I, I don't like when you come up here and you speak these factuals like this, okay? I'm, I, I'm not feeling these facts that you're spitting out here right now, okay? I'm not, I'm not I liking see, this. I seen them. <laughs> I seen praise towards Trubisky for his legs. They were like, Trubisky is moving very well. But then they were like, Pickett has no time. I'm like, it doesn't make sense to me. The math ain't math. Man, I I think, you feel that. No, it's like that. It, it, we we bef- we definitely understand that part of it, one hundred percent, man. So, if you're telling me that Mitch would get the nod at some point in time, it'd be Kenny. Where does that leave my man Rudolph? Is he on the roster, or is he in a different uniform? Come two weeks from now, is he in a different uniform? Who? Which one? Tell my Rudolph. If 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 Kenny is number two, he's going to get that opportunity later in the season to start. If Mitch is going to be the starting quarterback, does Mason Rudolph still have a spot on the roster? Uh, he does till somebody gets hurt somewhere else. Mm, okay, I like, and if, and talk if, about that. Yeah. yeah, he does until somebody gets hurt somewhere else, and the trade bait gets so high that you have to trade them off. Okay, you know, so. Uh, like New York, how they just had a little injury. If that mm-hmm. would have been significant, that could have been a Mason moment. Okay. I think Mason's second in line because we still got a Garoppolo, still got to go somewhere. Yeah. But what's well, going to be interesting definitely... to see with San Fran? Yeah. How are you going to handle that with him? Because they definitely said that it was going to be uh, Lance's team, but I don't know right. how you're going to move this dude. Right. And it's going to be hard, but they already moved. They've already moved on. It's yeah. just a matter of who else can take him, you know? What would you do if you're Mason? Do you request a trade? Or no, you just, you just chilling? keep getting better. You just keep getting better. You ride your time. You keep getting better. You keep a good image on yourself because your next place is your place. Mm, your next place, you got to win. Okay. At. But you keep answering questions in the media. You keep making it seem as though you are who you are, which she's doing a very good job. I think Mason's done a great job. With no, I would definitely person. agree. I would definitely I agree. I think he's done a great job. That is and not an easy thing to do. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> That not. is not an easy not. thing, man. <laughs> it's not. So I think you keep doing that. And then when it's your time, you got to go make a play. You got to go do something. He's going to get an opportunity this year somewhere. Somebody's going to give him a shot because he's a good quarterback. Yeah. And he's better. I could see something like it might sound terrible to say on my West B people, but I could see somewhere like a Seattle making a phone call like that. You oh, know? yeah. yeah it, it would make sense. You know what I'm saying? Because that 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 seven over there that you was talking about, I don't, I don't know if he got it. He's going to run away with it, man. I, I don't know, man. You say he was going to run away with it. That seven I, I, over I, there is a problem. I, that seven over there looking good. <laughs> are, are you reminiscent or, or are you talking like like what's happening? That's what I'm trying to figure out, man. I, man, I think, I think in like... the past, you're right. And, and if you're talking about at WVU, <laughs> Gina was that dude. Listen, he what he did to my Dukes, he, 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 he did something filthy to my JMU guys one time. I'm with it. I, if you're talking yeah. that version, yes. Yes. The time we called him Gene Newton. I see that. Man, y'all got to stop this, man. Y'all got to. No, 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 no. I ain't trying. Listen, I know you. I know Gino, your man. <laughs> I was there when we had a campaign, you know, for Heisman. Like, come on now. Don't don't give up on it. <laughs> no. This is perfect. The way that, that Deke still feels about seven in terms of Ben, he thinks that Ben is the best quarterback still ever, all time GOAT status. Respect. I feel like that's how you feel about Gino right now in this yeah. capacity in Seattle. So it's okay. I feel like I, I I'm I'm accustomed to this type of quarterback love. I'm a course. I'm a course. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good, it's all good man. But but can, can we talk about why I really hit you up? Because you know what we yeah. was texting about early. You know what, what I, I wanted to talk to you about. You know, we That's did the pleasantries for everybody else. You know, we, we we talked the quarterbacks for the chat. We talked the quarterbacks for the views. But I hit you up because I want to talk about them linebackers. Yeah. You know that that's I need to know what how you feeling because I don't know I, I'm not feeling too good right now about the five five. So talk so to me, man. It. Talk to me. How you how you feeling? You know that. I just I, I just think I think at this point I'm kind of I'm on a wave of I think this is who he is. Oh. I don't mean to be like that. I think this is who he, you can hear it in my voice. You can hear the whole voice. Mm. I, think, I think that's how everyone feels right now. It, 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 Impressed. Are, I, we, are we going into I'm this next preseason game it. expecting the I same stuff? I was sad about it. Like, bro, is this is this really yeah. just who he is? Maybe I, I, I don't, don't wanna... think he find, I don't think he finds the ball well. Like, I don't I don't know what his pre draft information was. I just don't think he finds the ball very well. He he loses the ball in those little moments. No, he does. He does. Yeah, them little gap moments where it be one step. Mm-hmm. He loses those a lot. And it's like, 
it's just unfortunate. Like he, he might be unfortunate to be in the wrong defense. He might be a four three Mike. And, you, and you've said that before as well. You've talked about that four three for him. He's yeah. a downhill a gap type player. Yeah. Him having to get off of blocks really gives him a hard time. And you yeah. can see it. Like he struggles to get off and then get back into the play. Well, and I was gonna say, TG, talk about that element as well. When you talk about in a four three as that Mike, he's one gap. He can shoot it and one, hit it. He's, he's back, not rocking gap. back. But talk about yeah. in our defense the two gap element and why it is a little bit more of a challenge for him. I mean, you got to think we're in a 3-4 with a 0 and 2-4 eyes. So you got to think he's going to be looking straight at the guards with no protection, per se. You know, um, the, the basically they line the uh, D tackles up outside the guard mm -hmm. or head up the guard. You know, so these guards or the centers typically get a free run at him. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? He gets a lot of free runs where he has to just deal with a line that's straight it's up and down. one-on-one -on -one right then and there. You got to put them hands yeah. on him. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to survive for yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's it's kind of one of them things where it's like they got different techniques where he can punch and fall back or he can rock and fall back, different things like that. But he just loses the ball a lot. That's yeah. kind of his problem. Like, I don't know if it's a height thing or it's just the – Because, see, like, part of me, when I watch him on tape, I think it is the height because it looks like he gets lost behind some of the linemen. And when you're right. talking about – that, okay, let me rock back. If you don't see it, you know you got to, okay, stay, stay, stay in my gap. But it's like, man, if you could just feel it, then you could go ahead and make that play. But that's, to me, where I see him struggling as well. Right. And, that, I mean, that's what I see. Yeah. That's what I see when I watch him. It just seems like I think he knows the defense. He knows where his help is and everything. Mm -hmm. He just don't find the ball. And – which is very unfortunate. Like, you know, well, cause, cause you, 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 just... you know what? You know the next question because we both had a coach who would always talk about productivity versus potential. Yeah, you know that that's a thing. Like, I just think he's a four three guy. I okay. think he'll get another shot. He, mm -hmm. he had that interview. I think that interview is going to put the the nail in the coffin. He didn't really <laughs> do well with that. But yeah. I just know Coach T. TG, I why you got to be so on, d d lie about it? Just, just lie in that second <laughs> like, yo, I thought he killed it. I thought he was great. Just give give us that uh -huh. day going, T, man. You ain't got the nail in the coffin, man. I, ain't, I don't know that yeah. interview. We we he all felt it. that way, yes, but you can't say it. Dang, can't say that. Oh, we ain't supposed to. I mean, technically we can't. I did. <laughs> I agree with you. Uh, but but you, it. it's, it's making me feel just, better, man. You got to just know where you at. You know what I mean? You can't, play, can't, can't say that here, man. You just can't feel complacent to be okay with like yeah. it being like that. You know, yeah. like his sense of urgency is not really up, mm -hmm. and I think that's kind of gonna be what people just get tired of it with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like his sense of urgency is just not high at all, and it's like, well, especially here in Pittsburgh with the passion, the yeah. fan base is too passionate. Football means too much here to not, you know, have that type of detail, that type of urgency every time you're out there. Yeah, so I think I mean I think I think you're seeing the last of him. I think if you if you're able to trade him, you'll see him get traded. But it's some guys stepping up, making some plays. You know, I like the young boy a lot. Um, Mark Robinson, Robinson. That's what I wanted to ask you about. Yeah, yeah. he I looked like, like that best of both worlds in a sense, man. He gives me a Vince type feel. Like, I think he's a little more athletic though. I think he is too. Yeah. I think he's a, a, a upgraded form of it, but mm -hmm. very physical. And uh, he's a player. Yeah. You know? So, how long you think I'm, until he's caught up, until he's ready to go? Because that's my biggest question when I watch him. I thought first game he struggled with the communication. Him and Buddy Johnson it was a lot of blown assignments out there. Mm -hmm. But then but that second buddy, game, though. right. But then that second game, it looked a lot better, but he did play more next to Spillane. And yeah. I do agree that helps you out a ton when you got somebody that knows what they're doing, know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. But how long, do you, him, how long until you think you can put him out there? I think you'll see one of them two get in there around week. You'll see a package start to get developed. Oh, that's and how it all like, starts. <laughs> it's something to happen. I yeah. don't mean to say it like that. Why well, it's got to be the package? Already, it's always like that, huh? Yeah. We just want to see him out here for a little bit. In there. He's already in there, nicked up a little bit. Yeah. I think once he gives them one second to let it go, you'll see it gone. Mm. And something happen. Okay. Okay. No, I like that. Dude. You seeing anything in Spillane's game? Because Moats was raving about him last podcast that he seems like he's got man. better in coverage and mm -hmm. he's doing things that Devin Bush isn't doing in the run game. Yeah. I think Spillane just gives you a – Spillane knows what he's doing. Yeah. Like, let's not – let's just be real. Like, he's he knows what he's doing. And I think he's one of these dudes, like, 
he believes he's a hard worker you know he's one of these dudes like he's mm-hmm. going hard every play he's not too cool to do the unnecessary things i just think i just think i just think anything that isn't what we're seeing out of bush is seen as praise mm-hmm. so it's kind of like mm-hmm. you know he's getting the praise off of yeah. bush's negativity so hard no so, I, yeah you're right yeah it's one of the things like don't fall too too in love yeah. i'm not saying he's not a good player mm-hmm. he's a good player but like don't let the hatred of one yes. makes you love another. Absolutely. If that makes sense. Absolutely. You know, like love his game for his game. Like mm-hmm. let his game develop too. Cause he got some things he got to work on as well. Like we're 100%. all there. Yes. You know, I really like the Robinson kid though. I think he's, yeah. I think he's that piece you're looking for. I think he's mm-hmm. going to be the answer to a lot of, cause he's physical. I he's agree. Big, he's got good size. He's got a good feel for it. You can mm-hmm. see it in his drops. He's got a good feel. I think he's a good player. I think, I think he plays good. fast, bro. Yeah. That's my thing. He plays fast. Especially to be as young as he mm-hmm. is. So yeah, he didn't I, play I linebacker. Like he's played running yeah. back most of his career. I like him a lot. I think yeah. he's going to uh, bring about some situations in there, yeah. if that's the right way to put it. Well, yeah, because you know he, he kind of reminds me of the – replaced or healthier version of like a uh was it ug3 ulysses gilbert the third like he was like that pseudo he could thump a little he's fast like kind of best of both worlds but for him he's just gonna stay healthy i think mark reminds me of him just a healthy version right now but i definitely think he's what you're looking for yeah i think they tried Mm -hmm. to strike with buddy johnson last year that wasn't exactly the one they wanted i think he's a little thick he's a little he's a little bigger than yeah Yeah, he's a little too thick Mm mm-hmm he a little too thick. This is yeah. the right combination of mm-hmm. can he move and can he hit? Can we hold up in this gap? I think he can handle the two gap situation. Yeah. I think he can handle a guard or a tackle just climbing to him right now. I think, and I think he can set your defense. I think he helps in the sense of like he he seems like he got some intelligence to him where he can red right red right blue blue. You know, you know. Yeah. So. I don't know. I'm I'm high on. He's high on my 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 next up list. Like he's really high on my next up list. I think okay. he's the guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I guy. like that. Then I like that. But now the uh, the real important conversation starts because we know in a week we got action. Yeah, it's time. Okay. Okay. Talk, 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 talk to me. It's talk time. to me because he he in here We're with this right. jersey. I just want to let you know right now. He he got this gold pit. Jersey on is bright as it's heck. From, it's from Adidas that 13 logo. Like, they, yeah. lost their, they lost their quarterback. Ooh. They're done. They're what done. news are you reading? Ooh. He just I, I got really declared like, the starter ooh. by Narduzzi today. He's slow Man, he's not, But he's not healthy. <laughs> oh, come on. He's, not, he's not coming into that full percent healthy. We got six We got six guys on the senior watch list that's hunting. All on defense. Uh-oh. Side note. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then we got some offensive players that's ready. We got a new scheme intact offensively with uh, – with the coach that hung it up in Hawaii and all those spots. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, his name's slipping me right now. It starts with the H. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. It's too new of a system. They're not going to be familiar with it enough for week one. Come on. It doesn't matter. We're about to ring it up. You know what I mean? The Hostile player, environment. I don't know said, if they're going to be able to handle it. He said they sing singing country roads, rude. man. I don't mean to be rude, but the, the, the player that we had to watch on the watch list he just got a new endorsement, a new NIL deal out in California today. Like we're not, we're not, we're looking at them different. You feel me? The, he said he different. got a new NIL deal. He got a new bag. He ain't worried about this. Out in Cali. He's not tripping on that. We're, we're coming. You feel me? We're coming. It's no blink coming. Y'all took the whole stadium. We couldn't get no seats. Y'all took the I whole know, stadium. Be packed. And we're still coming. Hey man. They added, they added the standing room for our guys. Mm. We're gonna take over that. Ooh. By the time we leave the stadium, it will be all Mountaineers in there. Remember, take I told me you, home. We are taking over the stadium as the Steeler Nation would. To we're the place, over the stadium. We're here. Where I, hope I all belong. The Mountaineers fans turned up on me talking. We here, West Virginia. We're here to Y'all got like ten days left for this. We're take here. me home. Get old right, country bro. roads. <laughs> Let's go. First meaningful game at Actors Shore Stadium. I just read something. And you best Country believe. Let's go. Be damn sure. Let's Pitt go. is not going to disappoint. Let's We're go. We're here. Almost heaven. Hey, let's go. No, it's going to be a vibe. I will say this, man. Mike Logan, he was on the show. Uh, was he it a week ago? He was kind of scared, actually. No, nah, Mike had that same energy. Mike said they singing Country Roads. That's what he said is going to happen. Country Roads is getting sung. So. That's all right. It's going to be a vibe. <laughs> I'm saying we won the ACC championship last year, and we're basically bringing everyone back. 
We got two young well, receivers. Doesn't, with doesn't matter who burns the us former yeah. USC quarterback. We, we 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 pulled off a trade basically. Slovis for lost, Addison, and we won. And we're and we're gonna AB, no no end of college football Listen, season. Said, you lost A B and Ben. That's what he says. No, you no, lost. No. lost A B and Ben. You no. lost A B and Ben. You no. did low key though. No no no. Kenny Pickett is an upgrade over over Slovis. Uh, he is. Nah, but don't, don't, don't come on. Don't. It, Slo- bro, it's not gonna know, be. A, it's not gonna be done. Uh, I, I think. I think. I, I got yeah. you wrong. Pickett is better than Slovis. Right, right. We can't take this. We can't take this. You have to and let Slovis prove himself. No names out there. All right, all right. No, I'm telling you, it's, it's not a coincidence. Slovis comes in freshman year, drops 30 touchdowns for USC. No, you don't believe that. And then he's getting put on the NFL draft charts and stuff like that for whenever he was supposed to come out as like the number one quarterback. I don't know what happened over at USC. I, I don't know what that that program has been a dumpster fire. Now they got Lincoln Riley. Now Slovis is in a good place, a place with pedigree, not, a place that has the ACC championship that brings everyone back from that ACC championship. <laughs> They're, one, not gonna know, They're not going to disappoint. They're not going to disappoint. First meaningful best. game in Acrosaur Stadium? Hell no. Mo, yeah. Mo, Mo, talk to me, baby. Talk to me, Mo. <laughs> Big games bring out the best in people. Hey, you better believe it, man. Some people get out there and say deer in headlights. Others, Mo, they turn into a monster. You Mo, better believe it's it. <laughs> it's different. It's different when West V. Blitzburg comes at you. Oh, you know what I mean? We're going to be bringing that. West V. Blitzburg. West V. Oh, Blitzburg. Okay. When, okay. When we blitz from everywhere, absolutely everywhere, it's going to, all right, we're going to see what how composed he is, and it's going to get loud. It's going to. I'm sorry, it's going to get quiet out there. Oh. You know what I mean? Because oh. they took all the seats. Oh. It's going to get quiet. Oh. So we get them out of there, and then it's oh. going to be country road oh. being sung in the stadium. I like it. I like it. Hey, man. I we, love it. Let's go. So we're going to keep this thing rolling because, like I said, man, we, we less than about 10 days away, baby. So we're going to have to have you spend the block after the game. We're going to have this convo because <laughs> we're we, we, we going to get to the bottom of all this. Just throwing it out there. All right. All right, but now, nah, man, and, hey, 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 and you Let's do your go. thing down there too, man, at Florida Memorial too, man. All right, and appreciate shout out to the homie Bobby Rome, man, the crib, uh, absolutely, absolutely, man. Sorry, appreciate sorry, you as sorry, always, sorry. though, bro. All right, my dog, All right, peace. peace bro.